Hello people, I'm Gage, and welcome back to some more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. If you press the button here, we have completed the game, so we have unlocked New Game Plus. What carries over into New Game Plus? Driver's levels, equipment, and advancement of drivers and blades, bonded blades, obtained gold and items, area dev levels, and merc group rank, event theaters, and unique monster defeat status, and playtime. Additional features in New Game Plus. Bond with certain blades from Torna. Meet certain blades from Torna in the game world and bond with them. All blades can be dispatched on Merc missions. That means blades like Pyra, Mithra, even Poppy, and Brigid. So basically, blades that you were not able to remove from a driver's party before. Now you can do that. Warnings for New Game Plus. All quests, heart to hearts, and skip travel points will be reset. Completed Merc missions will be reset. If a currently dispa if a currently dispatched blade is necessary for the story progression they will be removed from the merc group any blades engaged with rex using his master driver ability at the game's end will return to their original driver rock aegean and the unnamed nor core crystal will be made available again as the story progresses when you save after starting new game plus save data from your first playthrough will be overwritten that means that um, all of your save data from the end of the game will be deleted. Although we won't have to worry about that because I do not plan on covering New Game Plus. Maybe after we beat this. Welcome to Torna, the Golden Country. I'm finally covering this on episode 69. What a great, what a great number to start a new thing on. Now I will go ahead and say this. If you are here to watch Torna, just know that this is still part of my Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Let's Play, so I'm going to be saying things, I might, I might be saying things that spoil the story of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. So if you haven't seen the story of Xenoblade Chronicles 2 before Torna, go do that so I don't spoil anything for you. Anyway, so yeah. This time, we are doing Torna the Golden Country, finally. I have been wanting to play this for a while, though I will say this now. I have never completed this. I have never completed Torna the Golden Country. I have played it a little bit, but I have not played all the way through it. So this is going to be a first for me. So just know that. So if I suck, you know why. And let's get into this. Torna, the Golden Country. The year was 3564. The 107th Indoline Praetor, Rodalis, had sent an armed expedition against the country of Sia. Its capital, Amranta, fell overnight and sank beneath the clouds along with the rest of the Titan. The destruction of Sia shocked all the nations of all rest. Officially, the act was attributed to a military alliance led chiefly by Indol and the emerging power of Mor Ardain. In fact, it had been the work of one blade, the Aegis, a man known as Malos. Said to be the architect's word incarnate. Back then, Neither Laura nor myself knew how closely his fate would prove to be tied with ours in the days to come. You're that eager to die? Then allow me to assist!
And it's not just the Wolf and Ferris. Even the Balufa is caught up in it. Laura, can you smell it? Huh. Ugh, it stinks like... Yeah, no doubt about it. Blood. It's driving them crazy. Approach an enemy by pressing R to target them. With the enemy with an enemy targeted, press A to draw weapons. A character with their weapon drawn will auto attack. With every auto attack hit, your art gauge will fill up slightly. This is called arts recharge. With the gauge full, press the corresponding button to use the art. So just like the main game, we can go ahead and do this. You know, just stutter step our way. If you use an art at the precise moment an auto attack connects, you can cancel into the art without winding down from the attack. This is called an action canceling. You can cancel arts into specials too by unlocking certain nodes on affinity charts. It becomes possible to cancel arts into other arts. A successful cancel will charge the special, special gauge more than usual, so it's worth learning this tricky technique if you want to maximize efficiency. Now the reason why they're teaching us this stuff again is because you can just buy this game separately from Xenoblade 2. A team is composed of a driver and their blades. The level EXP, HP, Strength, Ether, Agility, Dexterity, and Luck stats are common to all members of a team. I will do this. I will do this. Oh, I messed up messed up the timing timing for the cancel attack there. That sucks. Okay. Almost got this boo flute boo lufo down. Jesus, I can't. Okay. Man, I messed it up again! Okay. Well, they're down now, so I'm gonna collect the money. Alright. In battle, the team is split between vanguard and rear guard positions. The character in the vanguard is the attacker, while the real rear guard plays support. You, as the player, directly control the vanguard. The rear guard will attack and provide buffs automatically. When you receive an attack, the damage you took will be displayed as a red bar indicating recoverable HP. This damage is healed by using a vanguard switch. The recoverable HP will drain over time. Performing Vanguard switches whenever you can, and keeping your HP high is the key to victory. When a team's HP reaches zero, they will be incapacitated. If you can't continue the fight, you'll be returned to the last landmark you passed without any further penalties. You're a lifesaver. Once the rear guard gauge fills up in battle, you can press up or down to perform a maneuver called a vanguard switch. When you trigger a vanguard switch, the rear guard will move up to trade places with the vanguard while attacking their switch guard. Okay, yeah. I don't want to read forever, so here we go. Boom. Now we can play as Jin, and my god... This is exciting. <laughs> I just gotta say this. Uh, why does the game look better than the main game? <laughs> you give me that money. Alright, now we got another Balufo or whatever. A special is a move that uses cooperation between the team members to great effect. Using arts will in turn char charge the special gauge. This is called special recharge. When the gauge is full, you can press A to use a special. And I will use a special right now, actually. Boom. That's some pretty good damage. There we go. Okay. 
Oh, it's a back attack up. I should probably, you know, go behind the thing to do it. There we go. There we go. That is some pretty good damage, for a level 1 special at least. Alright, here we go, Chill Stroke. You can charge the special gauge up beyond level 1, all the way up to level 4. Whereas level 1 has, has the Vanguard attack alone, level 2s, 3s, and 4s are a real team effort. But first, here's a free special gauge to top up. Special gauge top up so you can try using a level 4. Okay, cool. Yeah. When using a special, a button challenge will pop up on screen. Press the right button at the right time as instructed and move and the moves effect will be magnified. Uh. I need your help here, Jake. Good. I'm with you. Thank you, Jin. Well, we've got room for improvement. Of what? This fighting style. It magnifies our strength, sure, but it leaves us wide open. When the sword is in my hand, you're left defenseless. What, you won't keep me safe? Huh? I'll keep you safe, always. I'll keep you safe, always. You... you still remember that? I've thought about it. Every day for these 17 years. I'll never forget it. The day you set me free from a life of misery. I see. The feature that, okay, yeah, it's just telling us that we can follow the crazy arrow taxi, the crazy taxi arrow in the sky, yeah, got it. And then the arrow pointing to the environmental info, which, you know, tells us the weather, and where we are, and the time, and the mini-map gives you an idea of what's around you. Yes. Lastly, your current objective window, this explains what Laura and company should be doing right now. So, yeah. Now, a piece of important advice. Did you see that notification that said new tips have been added? In this game, you can check previous tutorials from the menu. The notification just now was to tell you that new options have been added to the menu. I barely mentioned in my Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Let's Play how horrible the tutorials in this game are. Now, you can view... You can view past tutorials by checking gameplay tips. Yes. Why was this not in the main game? Which, by the way, is a much bigger game than this. I will, I, I will never know. Anyway, welcome to Torna. I'm happy we started this in the fall because look at all the fall colors. This is just pretty. Look at how pretty this game is. I love it. Anyway, we should move forward. I'm going to be playing as Laura these first few moments. Lasaria Woodland, where you are right now, is a special kind of area known as a landmark. All rest features three kinds of areas, locations, landmarks, and secret areas. You can instantly travel to any previously discovered landmark or secret area from the skip travel menu, found in the main menu. So here we are, a landmark. Now the reason they're giving us all these tutorials again is, like I said, you can buy this game physically. You can buy this game on its own without Xenoblade Chronicles 2. So this is basically its own game. This isn't just an addition to Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And that's why this is probably going to take us 30 or so episodes to complete. So we're going to end this series on like 90-something episodes, which 
is insane. I really hope we end this before 2023. I hope at least. Maybe not. I cannot get that Path of Thorns. Uh, I cannot get that timing right on Path of Thorns. I don't know why. Can we please build up that special... That, uh, there we go. Got it right. Finally. And I wasn't even trying there. Alright. Dealing with two vaults. Probably should switch to Jin so we can heal a little bit. Okay. Uh, let's go with Chill Stroke in a minute. Oh, we unlocked a new art right now. Snow Blast. It's a side attack up and an AoE attack. Alright. Good. Give me... Oh, that's a pretty good art. I wish the battle Killed it in like two seconds. The rest of you hardly even broke a sweat. Now we did unlock some new things there. Accessories! We can now equip things. Shell, shell cameo increases HP restored to self. Not using HP potions by 12%. And a rigid vest increases maximum HP by 250. Now, of course, just like the main game, you cannot equip accessories to the blade, even if you can play as the blade. Also, we can enhance our arts and the rear guard arts. So we can increase vanguard arts and rear guard arts, the switch art. Yeah, there are a lot of arts to upgrade. For now, I'm going to be focusing on Vanguard arts here in the beginning. So, yeah. <laughs> we also have Affinity Charts. Increase critical damage by 20%. We gotta defeat an Arlo Copiba in the Secluded Boneway and Torna. So, we're not even there yet. We'll be doing that later in this episode, I'm pretty sure, but this episode's gonna be pretty long because it's the beginning of Torna, and oh my god, it's gonna take forever. Sunlight Eye increases accuracy during the day by 20%. Might as well have that, because why not? Now, as you can see, we level up by team. So, we unlock new arts as Laura and Jen if we level up the team. So... I'm going to be fighting a lot of people now because, you know, might as well. Might as well get some experience in early. Oh, we also have a new art for Laura, Hungry Snake. It, uh, it inflicts break on enemies, which is a pretty good thing because, you know, topple, break, they go together. We don't really have a topple art yet, but we will be getting one soon enough. Probably not in this episode, but probably very soon. Give me the HP potion! Thank you, Jin! There we go. Okay. Oh, that topple is... Okay, maybe we do have a topple art. There we go. Might as well just try the special out. Why not? Boom. A lot of damage. I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to Laura. There we go. Now, I really like Laura from what I've played. She's a really good driver. She has some pretty good arts on her, too. So I really like playing as Laura. Uh, so I'm probably going to be playing as Laura for the majority of this game. Kind of like how I played as Rex for the majority of the main story. I'm probably going to be playing as Laura for the majority of this story because I just like playing as her. I don't know why every single Xenoblade game gives you the best character to play as right at the beginning. Except for Xenoblade 1, which, um, you know, Shulk isn't the best character to play as in that game. In my opinion, I still played as a lot in that, but I have replayed the game multiple times since that let's, let's Play, and now I like playing as Melia a lot more. Whatever, this isn't Xenoblade 1, we're just gonna play the game. Alright. Here we go, topple. So yeah, that is... Okay, okay. Okay, uh, I'm dumb. I'm... I forgot. If you switch to Jin, you can inflict topple. Good. We'll leave the enemy in our dust. Give me Gimme, give gimme give this stuff. We got another Sunlight Eye. We cannot equip two of the exact same Ox Core. So, it's been that way since Xenoblade 2, the main story. So, we can't do that. But, I'm gonna go ahead and defeat these enemies real quick, and then we'll move forward. Alright, well, that was easy. Let's move forward. And as you can see, it's already getting dark outside. And you know me. You know me. You know little old me. I like it to be very early in the day when I play this game. So it's going to be pretty daytime. Yes. Yay. Pretty daytime. Thank you. <laughs> oh, great. More enemies. That's fun. Oh, wait. They're not going to... Okay. I'm going to skip them then because I don't want to fight anymore. What 
happened? Are you alone? Looks like the only survivor. These burn patterns don't look like Malice's handiwork. Must have been humans. Looting and pillaging while the world burns. Hey, it's okay. Would you like to come with us? You don't have to worry, really. We're all good people. Promise. Can you walk? You can. Good going. And your family? Were they there with you? Should we go back and... Mikhail. Hmm? My name is Mikhail. Oh, right. I'm Laura. And he's... I don't have a family. I was sold to this village from Estem. So I'm all alone. I see. Right then. Starting today, we're going to be your new family. We'll take you back to our friends and... You people? You're strangers. You don't have to pretend to care. Uh... uh <laughs> you don't beat around the bush, do you? He's gonna be a handful, this one. Though really... I was just the same once. Very well. Friends first, then. Not family. How's that sound? Laura. Hmm? What's up? I'll scout the area. Look after him. Oh, of course. Be careful. And Jin. I know. What was that you said, Baltric? The sea and capital of Omrantha has fallen. Or rather, it was annihilated. Praetor Redalus. So it has come to pass after all. Respectfully, you aren't much of an actor, Eminence. It appears you are not surprised at all. We heard disturbing rumors circling among the Magisters. Amalthus, whom you recently elevated to Quester? People wonder if this calamity has anything to do with that man's blade. With such extraordinary power, is it really wise to, uh... No matter whose power affected it, it is sure to serve the greater glory of Indol. The Architect will surely be pleased. Eminence, do you believe it can be controlled? If it cannot, I will let him take the blame. I have... spoken. Thank you for your report, Magister Baltric. You may return to your duties. Hmm. This looks like a good spot to set up camp. Yeah, I'll start preparing the food. Oh wow, you're a star, Jin. What do you reckon you'll make? Let's see now, I should be able to get my hands on a few choice ingredients around here. If we can find some torn and trout, deviled onions, and sour avocados, I could stew them together. You like trout straloo, right? It's absolutely divine. You'll join us for a bite to eat, won't you, Mikhail? I guess... Perfect! 
Then let's set to work and hunt for those ingredients. All three of those things should be easy to come by around here. No need to travel off the beaten path. Party formation has changed! Yay, barely. We just have Mikhail there now in the, tor in the corner. What you're looking at right now is a collection point. Check here to uncover collectible items. You, we know what collection points are. Give me the collectible Aren't point. The, the things. Yay, deviled onions. Woohoo. Okay. <laughs> we need to find some thingies, and I'm gonna collect all of the thingies we come across because you know they're thingies. And to get this trout, uh, we can just walk literally right here. No! No! What are you doing? Stop it! We're not fighting enemies right now, Laura! You bloodthirsty beast! There! We got the trout! We can make food now! Wait, we need one more thing. We need one more trout thing, I think. Maybe. <laughs> Give me stuff! There are a lot of collect- Stop trying to fight things, you blood-hungry beast! Okay. Give me the stuff. There are a lot of collectible- there are a lot of collection points around here. I cannot speak today, intrepid? people. I just cannot. Now give me that stuff. We got some more collection points this over this way. I think there's some down the path that we just came from, actually. So let me go ahead and search around here to see if we can this get anything. I think I grabbed all of the collection points around here. Let's just make camp. Right, we've got our ingredients. Fire's nice and toasty. I think we're all set for the night. Jin, would you mind making a start on the cooking? I'll get right to it. The blade's doing the cooking. Got a problem with that? Better Jin than me. If I were in charge, I'd probably end up losing a limb and peeling the veggies. It's not all one-sided, though. Laura has her own talents, like making charms. That I could never do. Right! We make up for each other's strengths and weaknesses. Blade or driver, no one has to shoulder all the burden. Huh. Okay. I'm gonna start on the trout straw loot. Won't take too long. Alright, so we can chat. Or we can craft, and I'm gonna chat! Laura, about that battle earlier. I know, right? We were phenomenal! You're saying- you're trying to do too much. Aw, what? I thought you were going to praise me! I'm only trying to draw out your full power, Jen. you know that. That's fine, and I appreciate it. What I'm saying is, please don't put yourself at risk, Laura. We've been together a long time, haven't we, Jen? Ever since I touched your core crystal as a little girl and we became bonded forever as Driver and Blade. Yeah. It's a bond closer than blood, I think. That's part of the reason why I wanted to help you too, see you grow, and be there for you. That's beautiful, Laura, but you're a Driver and I'm a Blade. Blades protect their Drivers in a fight. It's the natural order of things. Especially since we don't need to worry about being wounded. 
as long as the core crystal stays intact. While I, on the other hand, am just a human. When a driver dies, their, blade re their blades return to the core crystals. That's why you want me to be more careful, right? Exactly. Hmm, right. I get it. Well, it's not like I want to make you anxious in the middle of a fight. Okay, I promise not to overdo it. And if things start looking bad, I'll be sure to switch out for you. That would be great, thanks. I'm counting on you, then. You know I'd never let you down. There are a lot of those chats, and apparently we have another one. Hey, Jin, can you take care of the cooking? Sure. I think I can contrive a decent trout, trout stralu out of the stuff we gathered. Awesome! I could really do with a proper meal right now. Shouldn't be too long. And it seems that's it. There are a lot, a lot of those chats in this game. A lot. I'm going to be trying to see if I can read all of them. If I miss one, you can let me know. And send me it so I can read it, please. Anyway, we can craft now. And we can make charms, and we can also cook. So with Laura, we can make yeah, charms. Right now, we can't make any charms, because we don't have a vibrant flammy wing. Actually, we might be able to get that around here. Hold on. Hey, Jen, can you take care of the cooking? Sure. Um, uh, we can't leap yet. Okay. <laughs> Fine, we'll make the freaking trout food. Fine, we'll make the thing. Here. It's ready. How sad. That village, I mean. It is. That blade, Malos. He didn't do that, did he? The towns raised by the Aegis were completely obliterated. I plan to inform the mercenaries of this. How could a person do something so awful? Anyway, you should rest now. We should be able to meet up with Hayes tomorrow. Oh, yes. I wonder if she's found any leads on Mother. I hope so, anyway. I'll prepare food, then rest up. Oh, that's kind of you. Thanks. Hmm, that really hit the spot last night because it's morning now. Jesus Christ. You know, I can't think of anything better than waking up to Jenska. Okay, never mind. He made food this morning. I'm stupid. Anyway, scrumptious. You scarf that down quick. Uh, one second. Mikhail, relax. He's not gonna bite you. Don't let the whole moody thing fool you. He's genuinely concerned about you. Moody thing? Look, if there's anything you need, just tell us, alright? Nah, I'm fine, really. Okay, I hear you. You know, listen, I know Jen can be seem a bit scary, but he's really very gentle. You'll get used to him. I just need to clean up here, then we can move out. F felt we can't... Can't be... Okay, I can't read... Belly can't be too far now, can it? Where we'll be meeting up with Hayes? That's right. There's still a way to go, but if we can keep to the road, it won't take long. I'm not going to keep to the road because it's a Xenoblade game. Certain places out in the wild will allow you to make camp. The three things you can do at a campsite are resting, crafting, and chatting. Rest, use bonus XP to level teams up. 
Minecraft, use collectibles to make items, and speak with allies for advice on how to proceed. Yeah, there are a lot of chats. <laughs> a lot. A, a lot. You can make pouch items with charms and stuff, so yeah. Um, I'm just gonna fight these three enemies just to see if we- if any of these enemies have items we need to make charms. Because I'm pretty sure there's somewhere around here that an enemy drops items we need to make a charm from Laura, so I'm gonna try to do that. Can we please get Hungry Snake? Because Laura is a hungry snake. There we go, thank you. Jen, please do the topple thingy and grab the potions, please, and then you do the chill stroke, and then you do the, you know, the snow blast thingy, and then you do the star slash, which I learned while I was running around earlier. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we unlocked the thing on Jin's affinity chart. Running around earlier to get those collection points, um, I got this. Half the battle is living to fight another day. Uh-huh, good speech, Jin. Anyway, we got Fortitude level 1. You collected 10 thing. you collected things 10 times, so just go to 10 collection points, I guess. Uh, we gotta increase our trust with this. We are so close to unlocking Key Affinity level 2, which shouldn't be too hard. We gotta defeat an Arlo copy but which is like very close from to here, so we'll be doing that pretty soon. <laughs> pretty soon. Uh, do we have any new accessories? No. Ooh, I can increase her arts. We'll increase Hungry Snake. Because, no. Path of Thorns, because we use that more. Blow down resist one, sure. Go ahead and put that on there. Listen, we don't have a lot of ox cores right now. Might as well put some things on Jen so we can, you know, be better. Be no problem. I won't enjoy this. Oh my god, Laura, Laura, fight the guy. Fight the thingy. I know you're a blood-hungry human. Just do it. Alright, so I was sort of right about being able to get something from around here for Laura's crafting, because if we go all the way down here, back to this path, we'll be able to grab some minerals, and yeah. <laughs> we need some rare stone. You need two pieces of rare stone to craft a thing, to craft a thingy, so I'm gonna do that. Why not? Alright, finally, we can make wow, the stupid cotton charm. Alright, it does plus 8% party gauge gain, and well, that's a good thing, so we're gonna make that cotton charm. There we go, now we got a pouch item. Also, we can make some cooking stuff with Jen, and since we haven't made the devil baguette yet, we're going to do that. Just taste it. <laughs> Just taste it! <laughs> and chat. I really hope we'll be able to join up with Hayes soon. It isn't far to Felty now. In fact, we should be there in no time, as long as we stick to the path. I wonder what Hayes will think of Mikhail when she sees him. It'll be interesting, that's for sure. Don't worry, Mikhail. Hayes is one of the loveliest people I've ever met. I'll be fine. Speaking of pouch items, we can now actually use that cotton charm. Or we could use literally anything else, but you know what, I'm gonna use it. I feel content having this. Because one of Jin's favorite types of items are Laura's charms, which uh, kind of makes sense considering that she's his driver. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I feel my power surging. Key affinity level 2 already in the first like 40 minutes of the game, yay. <laughs> Drivers also have affinity charts. I kind of forgot this existed, honestly. But, uh, yeah, we can go ahead and do this if we wanted to, but I don't have enough skill points for that. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to save up on skill points because none of these are really that good. So I really just want to get this before we do anything. All right, now we can move forward. Ah, looks like you found a treasure trove. You'll discover tre troves of many shapes and sizes as you journey across all rest. Some of them might be locked, so you won't be able to get the goods unless your blades have the right field skills. But it's always good to check first. I'm going to go ahead and grab the treasure trove because I can. Is killing me. Yay, another rigid vest. Woohoo. Right. Hey, Jen, guess what? You want to kill these things, even though you say you wish the battles could be avoided? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, right. You're both blood-hungry beasts. <laughs> anyway, we do need these for, for um, Jin's affinity chart, so might as well go ahead and take these out. Break. Topple. Chill stroke. Boom. Almost done already. Can you please just use Snow Blast? There we go. There we go, and he's dead. Almost. Star Slash. There we go. Just die already, dude! Thank you for dying. Okay. Give me vegetables. Sour Avogado, Sour Avogado, Deviled Onion, and there we go. And again, we need to kill these things. So I'm just gonna find these, kill them instantly, and then we'll be fine. These guys should be no problem. They'll to regret this. <laughs> a tutorial popped up in the middle of a battle. Is it gonna kick me out of the fight? Anyway, as you probably noticed, the bridge is out, so you need to do a thing with the field skill thing. Yeah, do that. I'll show you in a second. Oh, come on! It just... Uh, come on, man! I wanted to kill the Arlo copy, but... Okay, so what we need to do now is we can come down here. Grab some fish. Grab some fish. This is becoming addictive. This is becoming addictive, yeah. Oh, leave me alone! Treasure trove, and now we get... A fang chip, and you want to know what that does? It makes Jed's weapon better, so we're gonna go ahead and give him the fang chip because I can. Boom, wildflower nodachi, which is, you know, his weapon, the nodachi, which is, you know, kind of a different thing from the main game's weapons and stuff. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I still need to kill one of these stupid Arlo things, and yeah, that sucks, but we can go ahead and equip Jamming 10, or Jamming 1, I'm stupid. Merchant Guard, yeah, might as well go ahead and do this, why not? We haven't really met any enemies that have blowdown, that inflict blowdown yet, so... I mean, it's coming up probably, but yeah, I don't think they're coming up very soon? Yeah. Okay, we already have everything ready to go, so let's get out of here so we can finally move on with the game. <laughs> There's a level 44 in the first area. Yeah, that's normal. That's actually normal. That's sad. <laughs> that is sad that it's normal. And boom. Wait, you know what? If there isn't... Yeah, nah. There might be another Arlo copy ball ahead. I don't want to go ahead and... Skip travel back, but if you skip travel back, you can respawn the enemies and take care of your uh, affinity chart. Actually, it seems like there isn't going to be an Arlo copy by head, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that real quick. You can rely on me. All right, now we can move forward. Here we go. We made it. Good stuff. We know about unique monsters. That's a unique monster, and believe me, it's probably too difficult. It's this a difficult, it's a difficult boy, and it's only level five, and we are level five. So I'm gonna take out these guys. Oh wait, we're level six. Yeah, might as well try. <laughs> That's level three, never twenty-three. Never mind. That is not the right unique. I thought I was looking at the other enemy that was level five. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna fight that guy because it's level freaking 23. We are not fighting a level 23 right now. I'm gonna fight this guy because why not? Because he's level 7 and uh, yeah, hopefully I will not die. We'll see. We'll, we'll see if I die or not. It's fine. <laughs> Got that timing right. Got that timing right, boy. Here we go. Snow Blast. Boom. Thank you for doing that, sir. Thank you. No! Don't join the fight! I don't want to- I- Okay, he joined the fight. Great. Okay, Laura, please come in. This isn't great. Okay. Took him out. Took the level 7 out. Oh god, we're going to die if I don't. It's like, break on this guy! No! Come on! Come on! Laura! Laura! Break! Come on! Okay, he resisted it. Whatever, I'm playing as Jin now. There we go. Uh, okay, cool. He's dead. Good. Uh, that was... That was a little difficult there. Uh, we're alive, though, so it's fine. <laughs> Gimme things. We're close to level 7 already, so I have clearly been fighting too many monsters. Is there a unique monster around here that I can actually take on? I think there might be. Maybe. Maybe. 
Although maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> oh! There's a treasure trove right there. I want that. I really want that. And there's a level 9 blocking the way. So maybe we can take that if I level up a bit real quick. There must be some use for this. Alright, hopefully we can take out this level 9 now. Because I did level up once and we're level 7 now. So uh, please, please be able to kill the thing. Come on, Jen. Come on. We need to use Jen's level 1. So... That's why I'm playing as him right now. We need to use this level 1 10 times, and we've only used it a few times. So I really want to level up his affinity chart, just want to work on his affinity chart as early as possible, just to get him as strong as possible early in the game. Let's go ahead and switch to Laura. There we go. I did get the timing right a bit earlier, but uh, now I'm not doing this great, right, and that sucks. <laughs> oh my god, no. Jen, come on, please, Jen. There we go. Break. Switch. There we go. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. There we go. Get that. Oh, man. I'm already on his level 2. Okay, fine. We'll use his level 2 then. Come on. Come on, Jin. Use the special. Whatever. Special. There we go. Boom. There we go. Okay. Laura, please. Thank you. Okay. Ow. My... Head. Okay, almost done. There we go. That was a little difficult. Give me this. Attack stone. Ooh, that increases auto attack damage. I want that, thank you. Please, please give me that. I would really like the attack stone. Thank you. Thank you for that. That was very nice of you, game. Now give me the treasure trove. <laughs> I'll investigate. Give me it. I need it. A rigid vest. Yay, another rigid vest. We have like eight of them now or something, something crazy. Let's check actually, how many of these things do we have? I might have just completely over exaggerated this, but we have a rigid vest, one, and the one we have equipped. So we have one rigid vest, two rigid vest, three rigid vest, four rigid vests. We have four, we have four of them, including the one we have equipped. So yeah, we have four rigid vests and we've been playing for like an hour. <laughs> yeah, great. Great game. Thank you for the four rigid vests that I'm never going to use. I'll use one of them, but I will not use four. Okay. Now, as you keep seeing, Jin has mineralogy, so, uh, yeah, apparently he just doesn't want to use it right now, which is great. I don't understand what determines when they use it. I don't, I don't know how that happens. Come on, this has to be a skill check one. No, it's not. Okay. Cool. I'll investigate. Okay, I'll take the other attack stone, which is nice. Thank you, game. Uh, we're going to head over here, because we have to. We're just gonna go where we need to go, which is right over here. Oh, there was another Arlo copy, but of course there was. Uh, there's an item over there that we need. So if I can sneak past these enemies here. Dawning Slate Piece. Cool, got it. Believe me, those slate pieces are going to be important for later. For what? I have no clue, because I'm playing this game semi-blind. <laughs> I will be using a guide for side quests, stuff. so... Just saying, it's only semi-blind, because I'm using a guide. <laughs> I will be using a guide. I don't have a guide yet, but I will be using one for side quests, just to determine the length of side quests. So, you know, for episode length and crap like that, but yeah. Anyway... <laughs> Got some more Arlo copy buzz. I'm just not going to fight them because they're level 3 and I don't care. Let's move ahead. We are so close to this next thing. Ooh, look. Collection point. Oh, great. More vaults. Fun. Oh, this thingy. I want to kill this thingy because we haven't killed one of these thingies yet. Did you just puke on me? Ew! That was gross! How dare you! Oh, look, treasure trove. I knew there was something over this way. I thought I remembered something being over here. Couldn't remember if it was uh, for a quest or something, but um, apparently there was a treasure trove over there that had a rush hour in it. Looks like Hayes isn't here yet. What the? The 
voices. This should be the village of Feltley. It's almost like glass. Rumor among the mercs says that's the hallmark of the Aegis. But why would he do this? Look out! a gargoyle which by the way i'm pretty sure this thing's pretty easy so we'll be fine <laughs> okay go to the side jen jen go to the side and you know do the the star the snow blast thing yeah thank you star slash there we go just trying to build up his level one special so we can take out that thing on the affinity chart because that would be very kind there we go okay i'm gonna switch to laura so we can actually take this battle seriously now Okay. For my mom. Come on. I swear Jin just said, For my mom! Here we go. Jin, topple him. There we go! Okay! Um, let's do Snow Blast. If I must. Let's grab that HP potion. Thank you. Okay, Star okay. Slash. There we go. Special attack. And like I said, pretty easy. Magnificent. This is no normal monster. Not an Ardanian Titan weapon either. Maybe it's Malice's. Get down, you two! <sighs> Holy... That was a close one. Looks like Malos's artifices are still roaming around. So it was. Hey. Wait a minute. <laughs> the emblem of Torna. You are Jin, right? Wow, I can't believe it. I came all the way out here, and who do I say but the paragon of Torna and his driver? <laughs> You're so young. That core crystal was stolen 17 years ago. Quite a feat to pull off that heist at that age. Are you going to arrest us? Execute us? I don't know yet. I did just save you after all. Oh, how magnanimous. Laura, there's no point in talking. Have it your way. Oh, hell yeah, we get to fight Mithra. I am very happy. <laughs> Probably should have switched to Laura, honestly. That would have been great before, you know, all this fight crap. Because, you know, she can just break people and then switch to Jin, Tabo, yeah, that kind of thing. I like doing that, and for some reason, I'm still playing as Jin. Oh, yeah, to work on this thing. Give me that! There we go. Okay, uh, let's play as Laura because we need to heal. Thank you. Okay, they're all level 10, so they're the same level as us. I probably should not have done that yet. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, now we're fighting Adam. Here we go. 
fun fact, they did not finish Adam's design in Xenoblade Chronicles 2, so uh, that's why he's always wearing a hood. Okay, here we go. Now let's go ahead and break you. Or not, we'll fail that and I need to heal anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> Star Slash. Let's build up a level 4, why not? Okay, or just get hit. Um, yeah, you no, no, we'll do, we'll do level 3. And I guess it doesn't really matter anyway because we won. Driver and Blade. Where's the strength coming from? Well, he is the Paragon of Torna. Ah, I've had enough. What? No. There's no need for you to. You! Both of you! Huh? That last attack? The force behind it was absurd. I'm amazed! Oh, uh, really? Well, that's just... <laughs> oh, and passing the weapon. What a concept! How did you ever come up with that idea? Oh, well... We were broke. Uh huh? We couldn't afford meals, let alone another sword. And so we made do. <laughs> You're kidding! <laughs> oh man, you guys are the best. I haven't laughed this hard in ages. Huh? I really, really like you two. Um... Uh... Master Adam! Sir! Milton! Oh, thank goodness you're all right. Master Adam, are you hurt at all? Master Adam? You can't be THE Adam Origo. The Lord of Aletta. Fourth in line to the throne of Torna. Oh, come on, Milton. I've been with him the whole time. You really think these two would cause any harm? You've been using your dumb artifice again, haven't you? Dumb? So, yeah, sure, nothing to worry about, right? <gasps> Milton? Who's this then? Ah, this is Hayes. She rescued me from the jaws of some nasty monsters. Well, I'd better give her my thanks. Hayes! Oh, was she with you? I'm sorry to keep you waiting, my lady. I see. So that's when... What a sad, sad tale, Nora. <laughs> oh, here we go again. Don't let it get cold now. So then, how come you've enlisted with a band of mercenaries? I guess I like the freedom. This way I'm not tied down. So I can help out. 
with causes I really believe in, you know? Going's tough everywhere you look these days, right? I can't ignore it, can I? I understand. A fat load of good that'll do, in the long run. The world keeps turning anyway. You might think that. But mercenaries and statesmen each have their own views and ways to affect change. It's not in vain. <laughs> A blade siding with humans. You don't see that every day. I think it's blades like you that are rare. Well, duh. You do know what I am, right? Lacking in compassion. Huh? Blades like you really are a rare sight. That may be for the best. <sighs> so, about Jin. I suppose you have to take him away from me. I could try to slay you right here. But? But my mission is to stop the Aegis's destruction. To subdue Malos, not to seek out lost trinkets. Who cares about paragons anyway? Huh? How about you two join up? Lend us your strength. You're incredibly powerful. There's loads I want to pick up from you, like that trick from before. Let's see. We'll say I found the paragon on my journey and decided to entrust him to you. To help with Malos. Well, sound plausible? That's just... dare he speak to me like that? He thinks he knows me. Course is the word. Yeah, he is. I meant you. Me? He you meant you're unpolished. After you return to your core, you lose your memories. However, as you gain experience with people, gradually the nature of a blade Rather, their feelings. They change and grow. You become more and more human. But you purposely keep yourself apart. Oh, so now it's my fault? No, not at all. I respect that part of you. Um. <laughs> Hey, are you angry about this whole Malos thing? I'm not. Whatever happens, I'll protect you. Be sure of it. We cannot simply ignore what's happening in the world. But... But what? Please say you'll be careful. <laughs> I will. Um, Your Highness? Just Adam is fine. What is it? The going after Malos thing. Could it wait a few days? Oh, is there something you need to do first? I... well, yes. You see, Lady Laura seeks the whereabouts of her mother. 
Unfortunately, she has her mercenary duties to perform. Therefore, I often go out and conduct these searches myself. I see. Then you found her? Yes. With all that happened yesterday, I did not have the opportunity to say, My lady, your mother is currently residing in a small hamlet called Torigoth. Torigoth. That's on the edge of Gormot. Ardanian and Sian forces clash out there frequently. It's very dangerous. Indeed. Right. No time to waste. Let us head out there. What? But what about your mission? You don't want to see your mother? Of, of course, but... Then let's go. Malos hasn't hit that part of the world yet. It's as good a place as any to look. You're hoping we might find him there? Exactly. That sounds too easy. We go to the village of Torogoth to find Malos. And you go to Torogoth to find your mother. Everybody wins. And once I found my mother, I join up with you? Hmm, that's the general idea. I'll send my people to notify your mercenary friends. And perhaps we could find a place for your mother in the capital. It should be safe there. Is this normal princely behavior? You think this is bad? Just stick around for a bit. Nobody's, like, making you come along, you know. Well, unfortunately, a driver and blade are one in body and soul. As if you don't do whatever you feel like anyway. I know this is all very sudden. Still, we don't know where we'll run into Malos next. It makes sense to stick together, as much as we can. Isn't that... No mistake in it. That's the blade. And that little brat, too. Hi, it's Blue Fist. Yeah. The whole village was wiped out. Found myself some great cool crystals, eh? Hey? And I found something else too, something real interesting. Time to take care of this, okay? I'll be in touch. Ha! Fate's a funny thing. Never thought I'd get to take back that paragon. What I stole in the first place. <laughs> 